Hello guys, welcome back to the playroom and thank you guys so much for joining me today on this brand new smart doll unboxing. And this one guys is going to be one with the brand new Evolve frame. We have Semi Real Fortitude and Coco here to welcome in the new doll. I am so excited to get into this video. So without any further ado guys, let's go ahead and get into the show. Hello doll friends. Thank you guys so much for joining me today back at the playroom. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today or night if it's nighttime where you are. But I am really excited to share this new doll with you guys. I've already cut the box open guys because we're just going to jump right in because I want to go ahead and go over the new Evolve frame with you all as well as get the doll put together, dressed, and see how she looks. So we're just going to go ahead and make this unboxing really quick. Um, this is the Keep Calm and Carry a Smart Doll Bag, which I love. I have a lot of these at this point. This is going to be my accessory box, and we'll go ahead and check out and see what we have in here. And this is what I got in the accessory box. We have our really cool clickety-click stand. I love these. I have a few of these. They're my favorite. We have the wig, and by the looks of the wig, I'm sure you guys already know which doll this is. And then I also chose to get her a medium smooth bust, um, just because I think it'll look good in the outfit that I have planned for her. And then there is our smart doll card, and there is the smart doll care guide on the back there for you guys. So we have all of that, and that is all I got for accessories, because I have a ton of clothes. And there is Coco, so my real fortitude in the back ready to welcome in the new doll so guys let's go ahead and get our doll out of the bag as you guys can see at the very top of the bag she is in the color t she has the orange head cap and yes guys this is athena i have been wanting athena for so long so when i knew they were coming out with the new evolve frame i went in to wait and grab her with the new evolve frame so i'm really glad that i was patient it was hard to be patient but i'm glad i was so here she is all bubble wrap guys <laughs> She's so pretty, I can tell already. So we're going to, oh yeah, I can definitely tell a huge difference just by straightening the knees out. Let's go ahead and take her out of this. Oh, she's so pretty, you guys. Take a look at Athena. I love her face. I do love the anime. I love the semi-real girls too. I have quite a few, but I do have a thing for the anime. I love them as well. But there she is, guys. So with her, I think we have the purple. Is that the purple bra and panty set? Or is that the brown? It kind of looks like purple in this light. But it, it could be deceiving me. Um, let's go ahead and take her out of this plastic wrap. There we go. And here she is, guys. Here is Athena in the new Evolve frame. She's so pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh, I love her face. I love that anime look. I just think she's just such a beautiful doll. I've always loved this doll. I love the head cap. Look at that, guys. You can add magnets and maybe add things to the top of the head if you wanted to do so. So there is that cool new orange head cap. This is such a cool, this is such a cool head cap. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and start checking out some of these joints. So let's start with the feet. Yep, you can definitely hear that haptic feedback there that lets you know that you're moving the joints. I love that. That is so awesome. That is so cool. It just feels to me, let's check out the knee. And see, that was that's not as loud, but I can feel it. You can feel it. I don't know if you guys can hear it at all because it's very light. There you go. Yeah, it's a really cool feel, you guys. Let's check out the leg. Oh yeah, that's a good, that's a good sound. That's a good pop. The haptic feedback is really nice. It just kind of almost lets you, it makes you feel like the doll is sturdier for some reason. Even though I feel like all of my dolls are sturdy, it feels, um, I don't know, it's just a nice upgrade. <laughs> I really like the way that sounds. Let's see the arms. And that one you don't hear as much, but you can feel it. Like I can feel, I can feel it moving from from socket to socket, or however you want to express that. But let's check out the elbow. Oh yeah, you can hear it there. 
really cool. And does it have it in the wrist? I don't know. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, it does. You guys, that is so cool. I really, really like this new frame. I think I'm, I think I'm loving it, you guys. And let's see, let's check out the range of motion. Let me tilt up a little bit. Isn't she beautiful? I love her. And range of motion is, it's amazing. I mean, it's just like it was before. I feel like for some reason, I feel like it's smoother. I feel like with the, um, yeah, I feel like this is smoother, you guys. I feel like, I feel like sometimes with the other frame, um, if you guys have looked at the other frame or the older frame, it kind of has like a little ball and socket where it has these little balls, um, in the spinal cord. I guess that's what you would call it, the spinal cord down here. But this one doesn't have that, so it's different. So I feel like this one is actually just doesn't get stuck like it doesn't crinkle up like the other one could crinkle up a little bit i don't know if that makes sense this one just feels it feels smooth and it feels like it's going to go back in the exact place that you put it in when you want to do that i don't know if that makes any sense you guys i'm still getting over a really horrible chest cold and bronchitis but i wanted to do this video for you guys and let you guys hear and see the new frame i'm loving it i'm loving the new frame so so much yeah, I can definitely tell the difference. Um, and it's a big difference, you guys. Like, it's a, not as far as movement. I think she's, I think the other ones move wonderfully well. I definitely, wow, okay now. I don't think my older ones can do that. She can bend forward really well. They probably can. We'll do a comparison. Wow, she has really good movement. She has really good movement. I mean, she really does. I'm super impressed. I'm super impressed. Okay guys, I'm back and I did want to show you guys this piece right here is definitely different inside of the head. So we have a little cradle there now. We've got that that holds the eyes in place. That wasn't there before. They were just eye puttied in before. So that is really cool because that's going to keep those eyes really securely in place for you. And it looks like it has some more putty here on the side. And if you wanted to pull that out, you could probably just take some wire pliers or something and grab this little bit right there and pull that out. Um, with that in there, it's going to be hard for me to add the magnetic earrings, so I may have to take that out at some point if I want to add magnetic earrings, which I definitely do <laughs> because I just like that on my dolls. But I didn't want to show you guys that, and I'm going to put on the larger bust. So let's go ahead and try to pull this arm out. They said it's difficult, so we'll see because I do want to change the bust. Oh, you guys, that was so easy. It just pulls right out. <laughs> that was so easy. If you twist it a little bit before while you're pulling, that definitely helps to twist and then pull straight out. So that was easier than I thought. Not any issues there. And then we have to take the head off. You can just actually pop the head off just like you could before. So we're going to just pop the head off. And yeah, you do not have to take any of that out to take the head off. It just pulls off like it did before. Just pull it straight out. Don't bend it or anything. You don't want to bend this piece or break it or anything like that. And then since I'm going to use a whole new bust, I'm actually just going to leave that bra on right there. And that is what the new inside piece looks like. So that is really cool, you guys. Take a look at that. It is all completely new evolved and different which i guess is why they call it evolved but take a look down in there really 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 cool i love the new mechanisms i love the way it's put together i love how sturdy this feels you guys this is a really 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 cool um a really cool way of doing it now i really like this frame you guys i think i like this frame better i like it a lot better give you guys a good look inside there yeah, I like it so much better than the little balls that were there before because those used to kink up on me sometimes. And this is not going to do that. This is just going to move freely and then go right back in place when you want to put it right back in place. And it'll be nice and straight. I love this, you guys. This is so cool. But here's our new medium bust. And we're just going to slide that back over. We're going to line up our hole. And we're going to just push that through and kind of wiggle it down. And then what you want to do is make sure those arm sockets are lined up and they are they're lined up really well okay and this looks like the correct arm so we are going to go ahead and just 
make sure we got that lined up. We do, we're gonna push that in there and then we're just gonna keep it as straight as possible while we push and kind of twist a little bit. And that went in really easy, you guys. I didn't have any problem at all getting that arm back in. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna make sure and twist it a little bit, just kind of maneuver it and twist that bust or that top torso part around until you line that up. And I think we're lined up. And then we're just going to kind of twist and push. And I think we have this arm back in as well. Yeah, I didn't have any problems, you guys. If you guys are going to need to change the bus out or anything like that, it is super easy. I just showed you guys how I did it. It wasn't difficult at all. Um, so we switched our bus out. We got our arms back on. I didn't have any problems. I love this frame. This frame is amazing. I have a couple of options for clothes. I really like this outfit. I bought this a while back and I love the black and white outfit with the pink trim around it. I think that's really cute. I feel like she'll look good in that. And I also have these really cute dresses, these summer dresses that I bought off of Etsy. And I love these. I even have this one that is really pretty. I love this one too with all the different colored flowers, the blue and the yellow and the green. I kind of think I want to go with yellow since her hair is purple and we have the yellow and the white in there with a little bit of gray. I think the yellow will play off really pretty with the purple. So let me go ahead and get her all dressed up, put back together, and I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back with Athena. She is all put together. I did go with the yellow sunflower dress, which I think is really pretty. You guys, I love that wig. That wig is so cute. The way it's cut, you can just style it in the front. I like the little layers. Um, I put a little side bow in the dress because it comes with the strap. And then I went with white shoes because it brought out the white in the sunflowers. And I gave her a couple of bracelets right here. And then just to finish it off, I feel like every smart doll deserves a Birkin bag. And we'll go with taupe or taupey gray because it brings out the little gray in the flowers. I think she's really pretty, you guys. I love the new frame. The new Evolve frame is amazing. If you guys haven't had a chance to get one with the new frame, definitely check it out. If it's within your budget, it's worth every penny. The frame is superb. I have no issues with the frame at all. The only bad thing that I can say is that I didn't get three more, but maybe they'll release the frame separately and I can swap out some of my older dolls with the new frame because I really do love it. There is nothing wrong with the original frame. Let me just say that right now. The original smart doll frame is wonderful. You don't have to switch it out. It poses amazingly. It's a wonderful, wonderful frame. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, this one is just evolved <laughs> so that's all i can say about that but you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more fun dolly related videos on the channel stay safe out there be kind and i will see you guys on my next video bye guys